on a lot of maker and DIY channels, you see them demonstrating two popular CAD programs called Fusion 360 and Tinkercad. Now, the thing about both of these programs is they run in the cloud. You need an internet connection to use them. Fusion 360 has some offline functionality, but it has a bad habit of demanding a connection right when you need to get work done. There is a demo of it if you would like to try. The activation does not seem to work in China and the folks at Fusion 360 were not interested in helping me or helping me demonstrate their software. So we are going to use another CAD package today called Moment of Inspiration. CAD is very personal and I'm sure my comment section is going to fill up with guys saying that this or that is the only wheel cat and everything else is waste of time and money. Now I can say my way is the right way or MOI is the best cat, but as they say, if it's stupid and it worked, it's not stupid. So maybe I am using stupid cat in a stupid way, but I've been able to learn to use it very fast and make a lot of stuff this way. Big thanks to the author uh, of the application, Michael Gibson, for hooking me up with a serial number. Now let me show you how I make my connector in the moment of inspiration cap program. We're in split, we're going to 3D. And on the right side, there are a couple of shades for you to choose. We're going to choose cylinder and place it in the center or region. Diagram radius you can choose radius or use di di diameter so i'm going to use diameter 3.3 and the height 30 and line it up on y-axis the next step i want to duplicate it and rotate it so let's go to transform rotate make copies select make copies and go 120 and another one on the right side, minus 120. And now let's go to construct and combine them together. Boolean and U union and select the other two cylinder. Done. Now they are all three in one. Now I want to copy it and then paste. So now I have two and I'm going to move one up to about six there. And the bottom one and move it up about 26. I have another extra one, so I'm going to delete this one. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to move the bottom one at 26. Okay, now we are going to um, select cylinder again and place it in the center. Diameter 40.5. And height is 18. And place it in the center. Now I want to make another one on the top, so I select cylinder again. Place it in the center. Diameter uh, 36. Height 12. The next step, I'm going to combine all the objects together. So let's go back to construct, Boolean, Union, and select all the objects. done now they're all in one the final step we're going to select another cylinder place in the center diameter 50 and then height is 30 put it right in the center yes now we want to subtract it so that we get the holes on the side so we go back to boolean 
difference. Done. Now they're all in one and that's the connector I want to put uh, on the flashlight and connect it with the Pi. And looks about right. But on the whole, they are on. Uh, I think the CNC people need to uh, help me to do M4 inside. But this will do. I'm going to send this to the CNC uh, machinist and they'll figure it out. If you want to see the project, I use this platform. Check the description box if you would like to purchase this program. Visit moi3d.com If you like this tutorial and would like me to reveal more offline alternatives for cloud-based CAD, let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.